In this video, I'm going to talk about bipolar cells. These are cells located within the retina. So I'll start off by drawing out our photoreceptor. This one's a cone. And we're going to see what happens to a cone when it's in the dark. Okay, so let's look at our rules again. The first rule is that cells release neurotransmitter when depolarized. And the second rule is that light hyperpolarizes photoreceptors. So let's apply these to our photoreceptor. So we'll look at what happens in the dark to the voltage inside the photoreceptor. If light hyperpolarizes photoreceptors, then dark should depolarize photoreceptors. So this photoreceptor must be depolarized. So our next rule is that cells release neurotransmitter when depolarized. And so this cell is releasing neurotransmitter. This neurotransmitter is glutamate. Now let's look what happens to this glutamate. Attached to each photoreceptor, There are two bipolar cells. These are called bipolar cells because they have an axonal process at each end with their cell body in the middle. They come in two varieties, on and off. And this refers to their action in response to light. The difference between the on and off bipolar cells is a receptor located in its process. In the off cell, this receptor is AMPA, and in the on cell, this receptor is MGLU-R6. Now, they're both glutamate receptors, but they have a different action on the cell. So, for AMPA, glutamate is excitatory, but for MGLU-R6, glutamate is inhibitory. This refers to what happens to the cell's internal voltage when the receptor receives glutamate. So let's look at this case first. When the receptor receives glutamate, the voltage goes up in the cell or becomes more positive. Therefore, according to rule number one, this cell should release neurotransmitter. However, in the on cell, glutamate is inhibitory, so it gets hyperpolarized in response to glutamate. Therefore, again, according to rule number one, nothing happens at the end of the axon. That is, no neurotransmitter is released. The signal is then carried on by ganglion cells, which form the optic nerve. But we're not going to go into that anymore here. Let's look at what happens to a cell in the light this time. Here's our cone again. and light hits the cone. Now, according to rule number two, light hyperpolarizes photoreceptors.
Therefore, this cell becomes hyperpolarized inside. Now draw in our two bipolar cells. And according to rule number one, which is cells release neurotransmitter when depolarized, it follows that a hyperpolarized cell won't release any transmitter. So there's no neurotransmitter that's released from here. Let's look what happens to the bipolar cells. Remember that AMPA is excitatory, so if there's no glutamate, it will become less positive, and therefore it will not release neurotransmitter. The on cell, however, without glutamate, becomes more excited, so it can release neurotransmitter. This is because there's no inhibition or reduced inhibition of the cell. If we look at inside this cell, it will become depolarized when there's no neurotransmitter released, and therefore it will release its own neurotransmitter. And that's an overview of bipolar cells.